Hi, I'm Patu from Free Fincal. SEBI announced a new mutual fund riskometer and uh, a product labeling scheme with an extremely complex calculation associated with uh, how the risk level of a mutual fund is to be determined. And what is most amusing is that when the new scheme comes into imp uh, implementation from January 2021 or even before that, if mutual funds accept it, uh, the mutual fund risk level can change every month like an expense ratio and it's not even considered a fundamental change in attribute. This is just bizarre as it comes. Now, they started labeling these mutual funds uh, for the first time in March 2013. They had a signal, a traffic signal kind of uh, arrangement, uh, blue for low risk, yellow for uh, a medium risk and brown for high risk they didn't want to have uh, green amber and uh, red because red would scare away investors from equity funds so they didn't want that and notice that this product labeling had very clear statement that investors should understand that their principal would be, will be at low medium or high risk then they changed it in uh, 2015 to um, a different scheme so uh, again, on uh, April 30th, 2015, they announced a different product labeling and uh, it is now it was this riskometer, which is now what you see. So now you have low, moderately low, moderate, moderately high, high and so on. Already it sounds like a restaurant menu, special dosa, masal dosa, butter dosa, roast, ghee roast, whatever and all that. Here again, it says investors under should understand that their principle will be at different levels of risk. Now, this is the new riskometer on the right side. Now you have more more uh, graduations on the dial, low, low to moderate, moderate, moderately high, high, very high and so on. And now the dial does not say what is at risk. Uh, even in fact, the, even the circular does not even mention anything about what is at risk. They don't even say principle is at risk, which is <laughs> most amusing. And what makes it worse is that they now say that the riskometer reading will be evaluated each month and disclosed. The number of times the reading has changed each year will be disclosed. Then if the if the riskometer dial reading changes, it will not be considered as a fundamental change in attribute. So the uh, the risk reward profile of a mutual fund can change and investors will not be given an option to, uh, to exit the fund without load. This is crazy and if you actually look at how it's calculated i i fell asleep uh, trying to find out uh, how it's calculated i don't understand what sebi is trying to do all you want as a mutual fund investor is to have a clean category labeling and that as i discussed uh, some time back it's not uh, true see you have a risk versus reward graph Risk means uh, standard uh, way of measuring risk is basically measuring the volatility or the standard deviation. So in this risk reward map, you have to find certain bins. You have to choose some categories. For example, this blue circle is one category. That area is one uh, category. Within that area, the fund is there. So I will assume that this red fund belongs to this blue category. You can have different kinds of, so you can draw different kinds of circles here and there and there and so on. This was the existing uh, fund labeling scheme. I am perfectly happy with it. If this red dot moves within this blue zone, I don't care, right? I'm not, I'm not going to lose sleep about it as long as it is remaining within that blue zone. Now what SEBI has basically done, of course, these are all schematics, is that they have removed all these uh, uh, big zones and they have very finer labeling and they are saying, uh, this red dot can move here and there and every time it moves the re reading on that uh, riskometer dial will change and the AMC will happily announce it. Uh, just like they are happily announcing according to SEBI regulation blah 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 your uh, total expense ratio has changed every month. Now they will say according to SEBI regulations your, your riskometer reading has changed from this to that and they will happily do whatever they want. This is bizarre at the very least. I don't understand what SEBI is trying to do. These are unnecessary changes. Have a look at this. This is the circular. I'm, I'm just making it big. So they are now saying consider a bond scheme with 10 debt, uh, debt securities and these debt securities will have all these ratings, blah, 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 and so on. So uh, they are having 10% weight. Now you have to assign one credit risk number to it. Then you have to assign one liquidity risk number to it. Then according to the 
portfolio macaulay duration you have to assign something called as an interest rate number then you have to <laughs> find out the uh, the the weighted average uh, credit risk the weighted average liquidity risk etc etc and so on and then find the simple average of it and calculate some number and then they will say okay this number means it will be found on the dial somewhere see how many people even understand what a what duration is or modified duration macaulay duration these are very difficult things for investors to understand instead of having such complex calculations which is baffling they can simply define a mutual fund saying the if a mutual fund invests in bonds bit maturing between 1 to 3 years and having a credit risk profile of gilts or just triple a or just double uh, a and so on then they will have different kind of labels they you will you will be they will be called as uh, sovereign uh, low duration funds sovereign medium duration funds sovereign high duration funds and so on that kind of labeling people want only labels they don't want riskometer readings this is just crazy people want a label and they don't want that label to change because once i put my money i don't want the label to keep changing it is like saying one day you will call my uh, my 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 bottle as water the other day you will uh, next day you will call it pepsi i don't want that happening I, I, this is just crazy they are making it more and more complex unnecessary needless changes just uh, like i wrote in the article mutual funds are subject to regulator risks ignorance risks and mass market risks save yourself by doing your own research and not depend on these people